This is Discipline 6 shot 5B. It's a great resistance draw shot. Uh, if you put a great stroke on this, you're going to see the cue ball pick up a ton of spin. And it looks pretty impressive uh, when you see the cue ball spinning like it's going to do. Uh, for me, to set up this shot, I like to use my cue stick. I'm going to put the tip just inside the point of the corner pocket. And I'm going to line the butt up right up along the second diamond on this rail. I'm going to place the four ball right up against the shaft on the long center line of the table. And then we're going to throw the three, two, one, and cue ball right behind that. Kind of once those are all in line, squeeze them together. I like to just give a tap on the cue ball and the four ball. Hopefully they stay uh, and they're just squeezing the other three balls together. Now I'm going to aim straight into the line of balls. I'm going to use maximum draw and about a half tip of right hand English. And you really just have to follow through and drive your cue stick straight through uh, the entire line of balls to pick up you know, all the spin on the cue ball and, and let it just drift around the table. Straight through the line of balls, maximum draw, half tip of right. Just Drive the cue stick through the line of balls. Cue ball comes around, you make the five ball. Again, if you make it on the first try, it's a bonus point, you really won't have to get it in the zone otherwise. Sometimes you get unlucky with a double kiss on one of the other object balls that end up floating around the table, but uh, otherwise that's the shot. If I were to make adjustments, uh, you know, if I was coming short or long, I'd do it by adjusting the angle of the uh, of the line. Uh, if I adjust it more out this way, obviously I'm going to come a little bit longer. And if I adjust it a little more this way, I'm going to come a little bit shorter. Um, you do have to make sure you're really consistent with your stroke though, because uh, if you shoot it harder or softer, or you have a little bit of angle on your stroke, that's also going to change the tra trajectory of the cue ball. So um, you know, you're going to have to pick which adjustment's going to work best for you. Uh, you do have to really light the cue ball up on this one though, so if you don't have a very powerful stroke, uh, this might not be the easiest shot for you.